Good evening. Yes, sir. What's going on? Good evening to you too. How do you feeling? How are you feeling after that fight? Very, very well, man. Excellent. When you think back of it, was that how you sort of saw it going? Was it a bit tricky in there? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's exactly how I saw it going. I knew it'd be dangerous in the beginning. I knew he was going to try to wrestle. I knew he'd throw big hooks just to try to get to my legs. And that's what we prepared for. That's what I was ready for. And I, and I executed. I would have liked to finish, but I can't complain. I saw something in that fight that I'd never seen before, that you stepped on his hand a few times. <laughs> I'm a creative dude, man. What can I say? I wanted to knee him in the face and he was playing the game. So I'm like, okay, let me just, I know this is probably going to hurt, <laughs> you know, or at least like try to lift it with my foot so I can knee him in the head. Um, and yeah, at the same time, I'm winning, right? So I'm in a great spot. He's got to move, not me. Philosophical question. Is that called a foot stomp because you used your foot or a hand stomp because you stand on, on his hand? That's a great question. Thank you. Uh, let's call it a bill stomp. I'll take it. Since I'm the first you've ever seen do it, let's, I'll take credit for it. Yeah, it is unique. Right. unique. Um, after the fight, had something to say to the audience. Talk us through that. What, what, what was the motivation behind that? Uh, listen, I know this is Giga's card and until Qatar knocks him out, but uh, I know he's going to have a lot of fans here. It's always fun to play the heel, and I want that fight, so I'll take whatever it takes to get it. What exactly is the thing with, between you two? I'm just not a fan of Georgians. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I just don't like that dude. She just went to Georgia, so don't say that. Yeah, so I got another one who hates Georgians. <laughs> um, no, it's nothing against the country of Georgia. Uh, I just don't like him personally. I've, I've met him. I had an experience with him. Uh, even this week, I've been calling him out this week. We saw him at weigh-ins, and he's just like eyeing me up like all crazy, mad dogging me. I gave him a wink and a smile. I know he knows who I am. He's going to keep playing it off like he doesn't, but now he can't avoid me. So I think I'll get what I want. You've opened the can of worms there. You said you had an experience with him. Yeah. Do tell. Uh, I keep telling the same story over and over again. But basically, I went to King's MMA. Uh, we were on vacation just hanging out. And uh, might as well train on vacation. California's a beautiful place. At least it was before COVID and all that. Uh, we went to King's MMA. Rafael Cordero couldn't have been more welcoming. And, uh, man, I'm like, who's this this Giga guy who's going hard as balls in, like, a friendly spar match trying to take my head off of, like, little gloves? Uh, same thing I did tonight. I made him miss. I got frustrated him, and I beat him up while on vacation, probably hung over. So I think I can absolutely do it on whatever week fight camp. Last question for me. What's your least favorite thing about Georgians? <laughs> Man, yeah, you got a whole country against me too. Um, I think you're doing that yourself. My, my least favorite thing about Georgians is uh, Giga. There you That's go. Right. A safe answer. Hey, Bill. Um, so your fight's over, man, and uh, I just wanted to kind of – Wanted, wanted your reaction like this fight week's been kind of hectic for you man you're like yeah. were you ever scared that you just you weren't gonna fight tonight yeah absolutely um there was something inconclusive results or whatever that was and they let me know kind of like well no one really let me know twitter let me know actually my mom <laughs> found it on twitter texted my wife my wife called me never called me back i'm like what is going on and then uh all of a sudden he's good so i didn't care i just wanted this fight to happen i wanted all this hard work to you know show itself and i'm so happy it did um how many other times do you want to fight this uh this year how many times do i want to fight yeah. this year um two three four whatever it takes yeah if you don't get the uh the giga fight next is, yeah. there, is there anybody else that you would like to fight mm, not off the top of my head i'm really just shooting for that one i understand he's you know got a number to his name and i don't so maybe that doesn't happen next but i'll keep plugging away until that does happen I was supposed to fight uh, Amir Khani uh, last year, uh, but I had an injury, so that didn't happen. But I'm down for that fight, too. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Cool. Thanks, guys.